So as I'm cutting out all this old rusty metal from this vintage Toyota and replacing it with new metal, I'm thinking there's got to be a faster way than using this cutoff wheel. And now there is, thanks to Vever. I dreamed of owning a plasma cutter 10 years ago, but they were way out of my price range. The good news is that Vever sells this 50 amp plasma cutter for just $225. It's plenty powerful enough, yet simple and easy to use. It comes with everything needed to start cutting with clean precision. And it can use gas or just the air from your compressor. If you don't have a 220 volt outlet, no problem. Bever includes a 110 volt adapter to use on any standard outlet. And at 110 volts, it's still plenty powerful enough to cut through thick sheet metal with ease. It's safe as well. This is the no touch version, so it comes with a metal guide to help keep the proper distance from the surface. The only thing that the user really has to control is the speed that they move the plasma cutter across the metal surface. Go too fast and you might not cut through the metal completely. Moving too slowly can cause the arc to stop once it cuts through the metal, but just squeeze the trigger again to start back up and move a little faster. I had it figured out after a few practice cuts. I've had a MIG welder for years, but I have never used a plasma cutter before, and I was so excited to unbox this that I barely even skimmed through the directions. It's so easy to set up and use. Let me show you how. First, attach the ground wire. Next, connect the cutting gun. Tighten that. Now on the back, there's a gas connection, or you can just use air from your compressor. Vever includes the transparent hose, the clamps, even the Teflon tape. They also include this pressure regulator with a gauge and moisture trap, and it attaches like this. Connect the compressor hose, and now we're almost ready to cut. The last thing to do is plug it in, but this is a 220 plug and I only have a 110 outlet. But they also include this adapter to go from 220 to 110, so I can use this anywhere. So the first thing I realized is that it takes some practice and a steady hand to do any nice freehand cuts with the plasma cutter. A flat surface definitely helps. I'm going to need a guide if I want to nice straight cut. This will work perfectly. My first attempt was too fast and I only completely cut through about half of the surface. With the guide clamped in place, making a second pass over the exact same line was no problem. I still missed the very end because I didn't quite start on the very edge of the sheet metal. All right, Take two, practice run, just letting the gun ride along the guide at a steady speed. A little too fast at first, but then I got it. Look how clean this edge is. That's a lot cleaner than what I get with a cutoff wheel or acetylene torch. So I need to cut out this circle to modify this floor pan to fit better. And this cutoff wheel is definitely not ideal for that. I clamped an old bearing race on here to use as a guide. Turn it on. And here's the only setting. I can go all the way up to 50 amps, but I found that it does trip the breaker because I'm on a 20 amp 110 outlet. When I think back about all those late nights we spent with a cutoff wheel converting the Gambler 500 Honda Accord into a ute, or 
All the sawzall blades wasted, cutting rusty frames up for scraps so I could fit them in the bed of my Toyota. Or the half day it took over at the shop spot to cut the CSX in half with an acetylene torch. It was so rusty, we ended up ripping it in half with the Yoda to save time. A plasma cutter is going to be a game changer for so many projects. Bever includes extra parts as well. Uh, there are a couple extra electrodes and nozzles in the bag because these parts are wear items that will eventually need replacing. And in the instruction manual, there's a useful chart in the last page. A uh, quick reference guide for cutting different materials, different thicknesses, and the amount of amps suggested for each based on if you're running a 110 or a 220 outlet. This helps to take out a lot of the guesswork when you're just getting started and learning the machine. So huge thanks to Bever for sending this plasma cutter out to me. As with every review I do, I didn't accept any sort of payment, just the product, and I can honestly say this will make my life easier, more efficient, and broaden the types of projects I can do here in my garage. Bever has also offered a 5% discount to any of my subscribers who want to go onto the website and shop for their own plasma cutter. I'll put a link to the 5% discount code in the description. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get back to restoring this rusty Toyota.